Okay, we're back with more episode. Choose your story. Playing Mean Girls again. Uh, it's opening night. Let's get into it. It was opening night of the play, the culmination of all our elf efforts. And my character is so messed up. <laughs> And I don't know how to change her back, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. And with Micah's dad in the audience, I gotta turn this down a little bit. And with Micah's dad in the audience, it was the last chance to make my yell dream a reality. Except for one major roadblock. My mom still didn't know a thing about it. I was thinking, with my unrelenting workload and your non-stop study, study schedule, we haven't had a real mother-daughter date in a night in forever. But we're all caught up on our shows. I mean, we could do something fun. Go get dinner at that place your friend Katie told you about. Uh-oh, I gotta get out of this. Fleur de fleur? It's kind of pricey, Mom. Plus, I have a study group. This late in the semester? I'm down to the wire. Every little bit helps. This is going to be a marathon session. I'll be there for a while. That's some work ethic you have. You inspire me. Did you know that? Thanks, Mom. See you later. Really? Huh. <laughs> I wanted to take a minute to thank you for all the hard work you've put into this production. Uh-huh. I'm feeling super appreciated right now. The understudy is an essential part of any production. We need you here. Why? In case some horrible accident befalls Denny? What? Why would you even say that? Don't worry, I triple checked your costume for all signs of sabotage. I would never stoop, stoop to sabotage, but you shouldn't get you shouldn't rule out an act of God. Like a light might fall from the rafters and crush your head. So keep that in mind during the performance. Oh my god, she gets on my nerves so bad. <laughs> oh, understand the palm of my hand. <laughs> Did you mess with the lights? Calm down, calm down. We'll send Bernie's up to check them all, okay? Man, I'm afraid of heights. You need to be a team player, Bernice. The rest of you, let's keep our heads in the game. And away from falling lights. A light is not going to fall from the rafters. So I'm supposed to sit backstage and do what? Keep an eye on all your personal belongings? Sure, that'd be really helpful. Alright everybody, let's open the house. You're in coat check, Regina. <laughs> Psst, Denny! I have something for you. What kind of something? A beautiful white silk dress. I can't take it, Damien, because I need gems. I just showed it to Micah and he almost fainted. That's how perfect it is. It would be incredible if you wore it for the play. It really set you apart. See? <laughs> it's funny that I can predict these things now. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. I think a last minute wardrobe change would just stress me out. Suit yourself, Strawberry. We got this. Micah, come look. It's packed. Whoa. Even I figured a treaties against intimacy would be too highbrow for the North Shore crowd. I don't even recognize a lot of these people. Karen's been editing all the rehearsal drama into her reality show. 
into a real reality show. That time Regina accidentally pulled your hair, it got 200,000 views. Huh. You nervous? Seriously? You all need to stop asking me that. Okay, places everyone. <sighs> Maybe it was the energy from the packed house, but our performance was on point. But Cassandra, love, it can feel like a cutthroat cutthroat brawl, a fight to the death. Talk about chemistry. I know, I feel kind of voyeuristic watching them go at it. Oh yeah, you went to that? <laughs> it's actually a dance. Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> This is making me hot. Wowza. This cannot be appropriate. Electric. That was no stage kiss. All I can think about is kissing him again. I'm gonna get changed. I'll meet you out front. Okay. Cool. I want you to meet my dad. What? <laughs> Ooh la la, Denny. Strawberry is meeting the parents. Shkew. Janice, you can't. Of course. I wouldn't miss it. You were great up there, Damien. A powerhouse performance. Wow, thank you. We both agreed that you stole the show. We? Me and Gavin. Oh. Hey, buddy, good work with the acting. Just caught the last five minutes, but I liked the little dance you did after you bowed. I'm happy you were moved by my powerhouse performance. Whoops, miscalculated that one. There you are. Thanks so much for coming. What'd you think? I thought Michael's dialogue was tricky, but you guys managed to make it out make it sound like satin. Thanks, Michael wants me to meet his dad. Oh wow, moment of truth, eh? Tell me about it. Before tonight, his dad didn't even know who I was. But now that he's seen me in the play, the door is open. How are you gonna approach it? Maybe if I drop Yale, the Yale bomb a bunch and mention how stressed I am about the waitlist? I'm hoping his dad will offer to make the call without me having to outright ask him. I just gotta work Yell into the conversation and hope he likes me enough to want to make a wreck. That sounds like dangerous territory. What if it doesn't work? Then I'm really screwed, but I gotta give it a shot. Here goes nothing. Danny, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Be cool, be calm, let Yale come up organically. This is my dad. Dad, this is Denny. David Bergman. It's good to meet you, Mr. Bergman. You did a great job. You should be very proud. Hey, um... Pass it on to Micah. Really, it was Micah's script and directing that made me look good. Surviving weeks of this guy in director mode? <laughs> I don't know what that place is. You should be extra proud of that. Dad. 
He can be a real handful, this kid. He sure has his moments. Come on, Denny, slide the convo over to you. Nice and easy. So Micah tells me you... Oh, and that kiss on stage? Woo-wee! Dad. Looked like you really rehearsed that one. Okay. Dad is out past his curfew. Thanks so much for coming, sir. I hope I can keep up theater at... You should. You're great at it. Okay, folks, I'll get out of your hair. Good job tonight, kiddo. And it was nice to meet you, Denny. Oh, crap. Now I've got to ask Micah to ask his dad for me. This is exactly what I've been avoiding this entire time. We're not going to say anything about that. Hey. Hey, kiddo. Ha <laughs> ha. So, about that kiss. About that. We'll request a reprise. What about you? What do you think of a do over? I would think that sounds interesting, maybe without an audience this time. Yeah, maybe when these people clear out. Yeah. Alright, here it goes. Cringe worthy plan B. So I wanted to ask you something. Yeah. Well, wait, first, you will not believe. As soon as I went to look for my dad, guess what I found? What? Regina was out there chatting him up, telling him what good friends we are, and asking him all about Yale. She what? Seems like she only joined the play so she could press my dad for a recommendation, because he's a big Yale donor. So much for plan B. Can you believe? She's even more a worse user than my ex. Now there's an absolutely no way I can ask him. Interphase really screwed. Anyway, what were you about to say? I'm here with Micah Bourbon. The mastermind behind the theatrical phenomenon. I'm glad she can say that word. The love delusion. We need to put a bell on you. Micah, do you have anything to say for your fans? Hold on. I'll give an interview, but I really have to go to the bathroom. You heard it here, friends. He really has to go to the... Okay. I'll go get some brawl. What is brawl? Does she mean B-roll? I left my stuff backstage. Would you mind grabbing it? Mm-hmm. I'll be back in two. Biz biz. No idea who that number is. Hello? Miss Strawberry, please. This is Denny. Denny, this is Parker Epps. We met a few weeks ago at the college fair. Yes, of course. How are you? I'm disappointed to be blunt. This cannot be good. I should have realized you were so charming in person. But you're even more charming online as Brett. Oh, crap. I just received an anonymous email with some rather interesting screen grabs of Brett's Hello Sharab profile, which appears to have been created using your email address. Uh, in our little tipster added a very sweet note. Sorry to be a buzzkill. I'm just looking out for you. Ah, uh, frickin' Regina. Ugh, sorry to be a buzzkill. I'm just looking out for you. Regina! She must have found my phone when she was backstage. You know, I waited at that restaurant for you for quite some time. The least you could have done was fake cancel or fake date. I, I'm so sorry and I'm beyond embarrassed. Me too. Beyond embarrassed hits the nail on the head. I was so anxious about impressing you. Well, this certainly did make an impression, but not the kind you want. I'll be withholding my recommendation. I understand. I really apologize, Miss Epps. Goodbye, Miss Strawberry. Uh, maybe we should have done the ghost on her. 
<sighs> Frickin' screwed up. Dang it. Parker's recommendation was the one def definitive leg up I had on Regina. And I can't even ask Micah to ask his dad because Regina's quashed that option too. <sighs> so that's it. I'm finished. Oh yeah. I'm supposed to get Micah's stuff. <sighs> Here we go. Wallet, keys, phone. Come on, Denny. You shouldn't be reading Micah's texts. Really proud of you, Micah. And your friend, she seems lovely. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. This is the end of the road, Denny. Your very last chance. Yell is now or never. Oh my god, no! <sighs> what? Stop! Stop doing that! <laughs> oh my god. Why? Cannot breathe. I'll see what I can do, winky face. Delete, delete, delete. There, like it never happened. He's still gonna find out. I cannot believe I just did that. I can't believe you just did that too. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm speechless. <laughs> Why did she do that? This is the stupidest move in the book that you could do when you're trying to get somebody to like you is to reply to one of their texts as them. Deleting it does not, doesn't save you. It's still going to find out. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to play 14 tomorrow and upload it. Uh, sometimes I pre-record, but I didn't pre-record tonight. Um, so this is Friday night that I'm playing this, and I'll record. I'll upload it and it'll probably be like Saturday morning or something because my internet's kind of slow. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just going to play like a nonsense game and record that as well. Um, just to fill the space and kind of change it up a little bit. Alright, so like, comment, subscribe. Denny's a fool. Goodbye.